Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live Wednesday edition. Wednesday. Yes, yes, yes. You know what time it is, man. If you're here with us, um, well, nobody's here yet, but <laughs> I'm sure they will be. But uh, Wednesday nights, we do our pick them for the week. So that's always a good thing. And uh, then we've got some other good topics you can see on the rundown. Um, we're going to, of course, like I said, we're going to do our pick ems. We're going to talk about the uh, the deadly duo, hopefully still deadly, of uh, Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams reunited in New York. Um, as reunited. You know, <laughs> right, right. right. Yeah, Transformer and I we we did a we did a quick live show yesterday as the news broke, so we talked about that. But this will be our opportunity to kind of go into it a bit more, especially for those who haven't had a chance to hear that one yet. Um, after that, we'll discuss uh, President Obama's all-time starting five. We know he's uh, he's a huge basketball fan, so this should be interesting, and uh, we'll see about you know what the what the other guys have to think about their starting fives. I know mine off the top of my head. And uh, mine is not losing, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, we'll talk about um, overpaid NFL quarterbacks because there are a few, and maybe I even missed some. But uh, Transformer, what's good, my brother? How you doing, man? Man, feeling good, feeling great. All right, I'm feeling sure like Devontae are. Adams in October. <laughs> Just ready uh -huh. to get back on the field, get back with your boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I almost said something wrong, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Run a couple of great plays together with your boy. You feel me? I hear that. No, I'm doing good, man. How about yourself, man? Oh, I'm maintaining, man. Maintaining. Um, pretty decent day. We got a good show lined up, man. It's it's a great time in sports. Uh, the NBA is going to be back next week. NFL and college football are in full swing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, a lot, man. I, I got to say, I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Yeah, man. It's why I do this show, man. It's it's my passion. It's uh, what do you call that? A labor of love. Is that what we labor say? Labor of love. Labor of love. Okay. All right, so um, we, we got some people in the chat. What's up, y'all? Um, So before we get started, you know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i all right, so we'll move on over to week seven pick them. This is the moment you guys have been waiting for. You guys get ready to flood the chat. So if you guys are in the chat or watching at home, go ahead and just click right. your favorite team, the NFL team in there, whether or not they're going to win or lose. Edward Deshaun Jackson, you can go ahead and relax because I know you want to pick the opposing team that's going to be playing your Steelers. So let's just relax, buddy. I right, believe in those Steelers all the way. So last week we had a great week. Bruce almost went undefeated. <laughs> and his week six pickums, man. He had 13 and one. The last game he needed was the Monday <laughs> night game that the Jets literally just threw in somebody else's hands and gave it back to the opposing team, which was the Bills. So, you know, Bruce went 13 and one. I believe uh Gino went 10 and four, and I went nine and five. That that last game was what you know kind of you know broke the mode and what we had going on there. So um I try, I try take tell it back. You, man, 11, and three. 11 and three that, is what you know. That five and nine, man, that was just a bad week. You know what I'm saying? I try to tell you all, man. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, nah, man, it was looking good. I was actually out, rooting man. for you because we both had the Jets. Um, that would have got me into double digit wins and got me tied with Gino. But um, I was definitely rooting for you. I'm like, oh man, this man go five and nine, all of a sudden he just go undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Hey, that was that was solid, man. But we're gonna move on over to week seven. Week seven, I think, has some very, very strong games in it. Mm -hmm. Um, starting off with the matchup that's gonna be tomorrow night here on Amazon Prime TV. Mm -hmm. We got the Denver Nuggets, excuse me, the Denver Broncos. <laughs> Your mind is on the NBA, huh? NBA okay, mind. Okay. I'm thinking about Obama's top five, right? Right, so, <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh the Denver Broncos are gonna be traveling to New Orleans. In the Saints building at 8.15 p.m., Denver favorite by three. What do you have going with that game, brother? I think that's a better game than people think. I really do. I think so, too. Um, uh, New Orleans just uh, – they just finished getting their butt kicked by, um, you know, Baker Baker. And um, I um, I would say that uh, hmm? that's tough. 
But you know what? I'm going to go Denver here. And the reason why I'm going to okay. go Denver here is because um, there's still, uh, what's his name? Spencer Rattler's only starting Spencer his Rattler. second game. Yep. And um, he, he started off the he started off the first half against uh, Tampa Bay looking good. And then after I would the break, say the second you know, quarter, really. Yeah, yeah. Really right. just the second quarter, yeah. Right. But, but after go ahead. The, I'm sorry. You saw ahead. you saw Todd Bowles come out, uh, throw some exotics at him, really give him some um some difficult coverages, et cetera. And you know, he, he looked like a rookie and he they slowed him down a lot. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with Denver because that's a really good defensive team. You know, I don't believe in Bo Nix, but <laughs> that's a that's a really good defensive team. So I'm I'm gonna go with the Broncos here. No, I like your pick, man. I'm gonna go with Denver as well. I had Denver. Uh right now, man, New Orleans just can't get it together. They really honestly can't. And the the injury to Derek Carr really doesn't help you out much at all. Um, mm -hmm. now that Dem the Denver Broncos has a little bit of tape on Spencer Rattler, they're probably gonna throw the boat at him. Yeah, um, you know, they're definitely I think they're three and three now or three and two, the Denver Broncos. Or something like that. But you know, they're they're still in a you know great, great situation to where they can make the playoffs. And so I think they're gonna just ride that wave of hey, our defense can take us as far as we can go. And I think they can stifle that uh New Orleans team up just enough to get that dub out of there. So I got Denver as well, man. <clears throat> G, who you got? Oh, not here. My bad. Not not here, not here. Somebody yell at G, man. Somebody yell at G <laughs> something to get on the get on line. <laughs> All right, so. In the meantime, we're going to move on over to Sunday, game number one. You can just quickly move past this one. New England is traveling. No, I, I take that back. It's going to be a London game. All right, New England yes. at 930 is going to be playing the New England Jaguars, is what I like to call the London Jaguars, because <laughs> they're always yeah. over there. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars and uh, the Jags are favored by five and a half. Who you got, man? Man, look. <sighs> New England is just bad, even though even though Drake May looked looked all right last week, but New England is just bad. And um, also Jacksonville's been over there. By the time they play, they're gonna have been over there for like two weeks, so they're all acclimated. They're all ready to play. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, Trevor Lawrence. He can't be terrible every single game. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm I'm Very gonna true. go with the Jags here. I, I just think they have more talent on the team, and um, you know, rookie head coach. Even though he's he's a decent coach, but he's still a rookie. Versus yeah. Super Bowl championship head coach and, um, you know, better weapons, better offense. So I'm going to go with the Jags here. Yeah. Rookie head coach, rookie quarterback, Jacksonville mm -hmm. wins. Right, right, yeah, right. You're, you're in London. You know, uh, yeah. I think I think the Jaguars, they look back at this last game that they played against the Houston Texans. Um, and and not, was it not the Houston Texans? Uh, 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 Chicago Bears, excuse me. Um, Chicago Bears, and they're really stumping their foots right now. They're like, okay, come on, man. What are we doing wrong? What's, what's going on? I mean, I know Chicago is great, but if New England comes into London, to AKA your other building that's mm -hmm. not in Jacksonville, and you lose to New England, somebody mm -hmm. got to go. Somebody getting fired. I, I, I don't. I think that's going to be the nail in the coffin if they do lose. And I don't think Doug Peterson is going to go out like that. So I got Jacksonville as well. <clears throat> All right. Moving on over to the one o'clock games. This game I actually do like. I'm going to have one of these on my TV as I'm watching mm -hmm. the Green Bay game, but Seattle. Okay. It's going it's to be tough. traveling to Atlanta, man. I think this is going to be a tough game. Here's yeah, what you got. yeah. Um, I'm I'm going to go with Seattle here. I'm going to go with Seattle. Okay. Um, you're going to be upset coming off of what Shannon Sharp like to call old butt cutting. You know, old they're coming cutting. off of butt cutting at the at yeah. the hands of uh, San Francisco. Um, they're a good football team. They play good defense. The only thing I'm concerned about is obviously that that west to east. Um, they'll be playing at like ten o'clock in the morning their time. So. But you know they're professionals. There he is. Deal with that. But uh, I'm going with uh, I'm going with Seattle on this one. What up, G? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, perfect. First, what's going on, G? Hey, bye. How you doing, man? We going good, dummy. Hey, what you going, dummy? <laughs> hey, we, we we listen, listen, stupid. We we real close to uh, like seven seven p.m. Ain't nine. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey man, I, <laughs> seven is Saturday, 18, eight, 21, shorty. I, I got yeah, you. you. I got you. You in the uh, you know, witching hour, as they call it, the witching hour. Oh man, there you go. <laughs> not, a, not a lot of good well, things up, going man? on up at nine o'clock, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Listen. I got to close oh. out this call with my son real quick. All right, no problem. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with Atlanta. Like I told you guys earlier this season, I'm very, very bullish on Atlanta. Um, I agree with you. Seattle traveling all the way over to Atlanta. 
Um, Atlanta's just a hot team right now. Kirk Cousins mm-hmm. is firing off on all cylinders. They got the run game going. They got their receivers going. The only thing they got to get going is the tight end of Cal Pitts, who was supposed to be like the next great thing coming into the NFL. Um, mm-hmm. Other than that, man, Atlanta has everything rolling for them. Um, mm-hmm. So I definitely think that they can beat them. Seattle is coming off of a loss against San Fran, but I, I do think, you know, Atlanta probably still does still this at home. So that's when I got right. <clears throat> Okay. Next one, we got Tennessee that's going to be traveling to Buffalo with Buffalo being favored by nine. So I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure I know where you're going on this one. You already know. <laughs> All right, we, Buffalo. We got- oh, you, you're back. My bad, G. I didn't know you were back. I'm sorry, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm, can I give you my picks? Because they're important. Yeah, go my picks, my picks are definitely important, you know. However, yeah. I don't know the I, I don't know the um, the order, right? I'm going off a of Bleacher oh. Report, which might be uh, different from. We're okay. running down on ESPN, right? You on ESPN? ESPN. I, I, can, move, right. I can move to ESPN. All right, yeah. cool. um, so, ESPN, uh, click on schedule, and it should be all in a row. Yeah, so we all start right. Denver and New Orleans tomorrow night. That's a Denver tough one. At New Orleans. I'm, I'm, I'm still going to go with uh, Saints. Okay. Real quick. Just plug me in real quick, bro. I, ain't, I don't need to get No, no, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. you only three games behind. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, New England, Jacksonville. That's the ugliest game of the week. <laughs> they in London, though. So Jacksonville Jacksonville got to stay tonight in London. Let's stay the week in London. Oh, my gosh. They don't get no better than that. Like, man, they got to fly overseas, you know, that for a lot of – for a long time, if you got to fly overseas, like, you don't know That's what you're going to get. Yeah. yeah. You don't know what you're going to get. Uh, I'm going to go with Drake, though. I'm going to go with Drake. Oh, Drake made New England. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with Drake on this one. Okay. Seattle and Atlanta. In Oof. Atlanta. I got to go with Atlanta, yo. Captain Kirk. Okay. Captain yeah. Kirk. Okay. Captain Kirk. Yeah. Big cousin. Yeah, Big go cousin. Go Captain Atlanta. Kirk. <laughs> and then now you caught up with us. Uh, Tennessee and Buffalo. Tennessee and Buffalo. 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 I'm, I mean, they I'm got not a new pieces. They better. They bet. Listen. Listen. The second coming of fucking freaking. Uh, Joe Montana in Hope's eyes, bet not lose. You like, feel me? Did like I, Josh did Allen. When Josh did I ever Allen, see anything like that? Josh Allen is, is the second coming to uh, Joe Montana in, in Hope's eyes. I think, eyes. I think, I I think the like better Brett comparison Favre might be to like, there. That's where yeah, I was man. going. Brett Favre for John <laughs> Elway is the better comparison. Listen, man, go, go look at his stats, bro. Go look at his stats. He, he wasn't that. He won that guy, yo. Uh, that's yo, why, that's, why, that's why Steve Young came in and just like pushed him to the side and made him like, go no, somewhere I else. I got this, man. I got this. Let me go ahead and yeah, get the Super yeah. Bowls real quick. He said, "He said, go ahead to uh, the Chiefs." First, first <laughs> of all, first of all, Joe Montana, go Irish. Let's start there. Let's start there. Ooh, all right. Here we now, go. Here we go. Besides with the nonsense. <laughs> say, here we go. With the nonsense. Didn't Joe Montana have four chips by the time he left? San Francisco, he did, right? It don't matter, did, bro. Right? You don't let no and young you, you, bulls you, push you off your block, yo. That's it. You got you to gotta stop looking at stats as comparing them to what we see I'm now. Not, I'm not. I'm going from – listen, we here. You, you, we you here. mentioned the stats, though. We here, <laughs> yo. It's the, eye, it's, right, <laughs> it's the eye test, bro. It's the eye test. The game Montana, Iris, go, Steve, there, man. man. I see you. I see you, Steve. Right. All right, right. let's go ahead and move on. Uh, We got a lot of picks oh, to go, guys. Yeah. Let's go ahead and kick them on. Uh, Seattle, oh, C- Seattle, Cincinnati, and Joe Barrow travels to the god awful Cleveland Browns. Oh, that's easy. who you got, G. I think this is gonna be easy. Well, let's go ahead and click. C- yeah, that's Cincinnati. Easy, man, yeah, yeah, it's a, Every, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Just click Joe Cincinnati. Burrow ain't got nothing. To, he ain't got nothing else to do but win. Like, that's, that's it. it. Oh, by the way, transformer, real quick, man. I know, I know, we're moving along, man. Go ahead, tell G what I did last week, man. Go ahead, tell, tell. Him. Oh man, hey oh. man, he damn near went undefeated, G. I'm just saying, man. You know, I don't that boy no, was thirteen I'm, and one. You know, but so, you know, so hear me out. Hear me out. Not, not to shade my guy because that's my dog right there. <laughs> However, there, there was there was certain how can uh-huh. I put this? There was certain picks that I I chose that mm-hmm. was heartfelt, like the Green Bay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Green Bay one. I'm, I'm sure he rocked with you. I'm, right, he, I'm sure he rocked with you when it when it came to Green Bay. Yes, he did because sure he, he knew the answer, man. Yeah, it was a, it was, it was easy a game. Yeah, that was, that yeah, was easy. That was easy at that time. We had open beef at that time, bro. 
<laughs> you know something? Yeah, man, know, we, we wasn't uh, seeing that eye. You know, I, I couldn't agree with you. We wasn't seeing that eye. Yeah, when it comes to bros, it's like certain things it don't even matter. We like this. I'm look. just saying. Like nah, I ain't picking yeah. them. Man, fuck that. I got New England. He was a neutral <laughs> guy. He was a neutral guy. Yo, he was a neutral oh, guy. Oh my last. goodness. See what, see what that gets you? Thirteen mm. hey, and one. Man. 13 and 1. 13 and 1. It'll never happen again, bro. We got 10 like now. Too <laughs> easy, man. <laughs> no, nah, man. It was good, man. It was good. All shout right, so. The, shout out to the host, bro. First and foremost, for going 13 and 1, yo. Like, if you would have played that money, you would have won. You would have won $28,000. However, you didn't <laughs> play that money, yo. That's, no, hey, did not. hey did gee, not. that's exactly what I said, bro. When I, uh, <laughs> when I first, I'm like, I'm like, bro, you undefeated. No, it was Wednesday when we went live. I was like, bro, you know you undefeated right now. You could have got bread if you would have bet all the Sunday games, man. Yeah. He had every Sunday game correct. Every I single one. You, I know what game he picked. I know what game he picked because we picked the same game and we both lost, bro. <laughs> Which one? No, no, no. You picked the uh you you uh, had uh you had the jet uh the Bills winning. That was one that he lost. Oh, okay. Yeah. You had the Bills yeah. and he had the Jets. I had that's the what, that's what lost him. We won that. But like I said, he had uh, all his Sunday games. He had them. He, he hit <coughs> all on the money. Unbelievable. Monday night crash. Hey, listen, man, we're gonna push the brand up for the day. Like we won't <laughs> let it rock. Hey, congratulations to my to the bro, the big bro, I should say. Right there, <laughs> Bruce, big baritone, yeah. big baritone. Oh man! All right. <laughs> all right. Nah, man, shout out thirteen and one, man. We're gonna move on over uh, to the game of the week in Wait, my I, eyes. Oh, okay, we we all chose Cincinnati, I assume. Yeah, man, we're gonna move past that. Does anybody think Cleveland's gonna win? Oh, that is the game of the week. Damn. Okay, oh. good. All right. Moving Ooh. on. That can't be the Houston. game of the week. No, game no, no, no. Houston, Houston. No, I'm Houston just saying, Bay. like, yeah, Houston, Houston and Green who? Bay. Houston Green Bay. and Green Bay. No, I'm That's... thinking more like 49ers Chiefs. Oof. That's going to be the night game, the 4 o'clock. But the 1 o'clock game, that's going to be the game okay. to watch. I got man, you. I got shoot. Uh, yeah, Baltimore, yeah. Tampa Bay, that's another one. But ain't, we'll get there. Is that a? Oof. No, um, they're not a, um, that's a Monday game. That's not a, that's yeah, not that's a Monday night. Up, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Monday night. I'm trying mm -hmm. to catch up, bro. Let me catch up real quick, and then we can. Um, you already, you all, ca you all caught up, bro. I'm all caught, caught up. up. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, you're all, straight. You're yeah, you're right, you're right on track with us, yeah. Uh, like Houston that. Green Bay. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Come on now. Come on now. Houston, pick em. Bay. So it's a pick, pick em. Em. Yeah. Who, who, who is having this? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Come uh, on now. Talk to me. I'm going to let Y'all know who I'm picking. I'm like, it's no, it's no I it's not. Yeah, this is an easy one. For you, the yeah, I, I believe in them boys. Mm, okay, yeah. Bruce got Houston. Yeah, Houston, Stroud, Brown. Mixon, Collins, Diggs, man, that's a good football team. Well, Diggs, Bill Diggs, Anderson Diggs, out here going crazy he, too. He allegedly like he got some shit going on in his head right now because he allegedly like raped dude. So I don't know if I can Ooh. do that. I'm going, Green Bay. I'm going with Green Bay on this one, bro. The homosexual okay. rape is. I mean that. I right, right, chill, 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 chill. We don't. We, we can't say the R word. We can't say the R word. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yo, that's I. You don't, you remember him oh, mentioning that last thing. week? Yeah. Oh, the thing. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Out there. I'm going. I'm going with uh, Green Bay all yeah. day on this one. Damn. <laughs> oh, no, I believe in CJ Stroud, man. I yeah, CJ Stroud. Yeah, all right. I got you. I got you. Nice and then no, right. no Nico Collins either. So no Nico he ain't Collins. Got no right hands, all left oh, hands. That's tough. He mm. catching yeah. the ball with the left hands the whole time. Pause. Boy, so Jai Alexander is going to be covering uh, Stefan Diggs, uh, I believe, mm. pretty much most of the night. You I'm, don't give you know, safety going to be over the top when it comes to Tank Dale. Uh, boy, and uh, Green Bay, man, Green Bay. I like our pick. We're going to move on over to the next one o'clock game. Buddy. Miami <laughs> is traveling to Indianapolis. Who do we got, Bruce? Um, I got the I got the Colts, man. January Joe got, got it again. Um, I don't have any faith whatsoever in Miami until Tua comes back and they can kind of get their offense back and get. Okay. G. Mm -hmm. We got uh Colts and who? Colts and, and uh, the Dolphins. Miami. Oh, yeah. Fucking what's the name? Still seeing stars. We're going with flat go, bro. <laughs> yeah, Tua still seeing stars, man. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, All right. He ain't, he ain't ready yet. 
So I'm gonna go with Miami. Reasons being, <coughs> Joe Flacco's not playing. Anthony Rich is gonna be playing. Oh, is so, he? Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. They working that kid back I, I already. You know I'm pretty positive he was almost there. Literally, it was a game time decision that they want to go to play mm-hmm. for his oblique. That oblique okay. is gonna be fine by Sunday. Uh, I got, I got those guys, they're not gonna stress that out. They, they already got one on offer. Clearly, they don't want to win. Clearly, they don't they win. So they want they want that guy in there. They want to see what that guy can do. Um, like I said, yeah. they're a young and up and coming team, and they want him yeah, to let go that with guy him. sit and learn. That's what they need to do. Hey, I right. agree with you. We had that conversation. Yo, so hold up. Wait a minute, yo. So so wow. Tua is playing, and after Tua's Richard, not playing. No, Tua's, Tua's not playing. Not He's playing. not back yet. No, no, no. Tua Richard. got. Who's I the think backup? Uh, huh? Who's the backup? Uh, Tyler Thompson. Huntley. Not. No, 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 oh, yeah, no. Tyler Huntley. Tyler yeah, yeah, it is yeah, Tyler, Tyler Huntley. Huntley. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm he, going Miami. Been, I got I got to go he's Miami. Been, he's been bad yeah. in that system, though. It's Yeah, yeah he, he's got yeah, to pick it, it up. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It takes time. It takes time. That should take time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm I think, you know, time. he had a bye week. They had a bye yeah. week to uh, go get things Tyler. together. So, uh, this will be Tyler, his. Tyler, yo. Tyler, a better quarterback than Tua. What? That's crazy work. That's crazy work. I know. I know. Yeah, that's that's wild accusations right there, yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm going with I'm but, going with Miami, bro. Just are you gonna switch to Miami? Miami. And so All Sunday right. when we recap this shit, we're gonna be like, oh, why did you pick that? And I'm be like, <laughs> you already know. At the same time. All right, man. I can't so, believe the coach not playing Joe though. That's crazy. Yeah. Nah, they they're already looking to play Anthony Richardson, man. He He's already taking first team reps. Let me get back. While I'm on here, you want to win like January Joe in. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Very. Okay, Anthony Richardson missed Colts week five and week six games due to oblique injury, but he was close to playing in week six against the Titans. He will likely make his return in week seven against the Dolphins. He's been taking first team reps, and the veteran backup. Joe Flacco has impressed Richardson absence, but the Colts remain committed to Richardson as their starter when healthy. He was a full participant in today's practice. Head coach Stan Shan said Monday that he expected Richardson to return from a two game absence to start on Sunday against the, the Dolphins. A full practice to begin week seven prep confirms the plan is on track. Although Richardson was also a full participant last Thursday and didn't end up playing. They're pretty positive and they're confirming that he's going to be ready to start against the Dolphins. Edward Jackson, first of all, these stats, we got to take the eye test for what it's worth, bro. Like one in five, that really don't mean anything because there's so many other players that's on the field who's, at the same who's time. Who's one in five? Now he's saying um, Joe Flacco is one in five uh, against Cleveland. That's oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Man, Listen, nah, nah. It's, it's not just stats, and it's not just eye tests. All that stuff goes together. The stats matter too. They're not everything, but they matter too. But Cleveland is just a lousy, lousy football team nah. right now. Very, very at the bad. same time, freeze there, freeze there, real quick. Like Cleveland is a bad team this year, bro. Like it's turmoil. I think it's right? zero like, twenty six on third down. Yeah, it's turmoil there, yo. And so stats, you got to <laughs> throw those out the window when you make these. These assumptions right here, like these guys yeah. probably won't. I don't know if they're gonna be capable of winning another game. If so, it might be seven to six games from now. Yeah. Like they in bad shape, bro. Like real yeah. bad. Quarterback. Nick Chubb, this is Nick Chubb's first game back. Old. So he didn't lost his number one receiver. Like these guys are like they shouldn't have been. So stats out the window for for me. From yeah, when it, when it comes no, to I agree. Me, stats out the window, bro. Like. Uh, it, 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 it's strictly our test from here on. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, Cleveland doesn't have any type of offense. Joe scores 14 points. Cleveland loses the game. Yeah. <laughs> that's how that's, it. that's how ugly it's looking, for, it's looking for the Cleveland Browns. Bro. Yeah. Every, it, it, it's one of those joints where uh, everybody and shit. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> everybody. Everyone is jumping shit. Everyone is oh, yeah, jumping yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Including the fans and the brown paper bags. Brown paper bag. I knew he was going to do that. Uh, I, just, <laughs> sorry, I feel sorry for my sorry major who uh, he's a diehard Cleveland Browns fan, and I, I I never understood why. I just was like, you don't have to live in this, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can come over to the purple and you know the purple and black, right? Right, Bruce. You can come over That's to right. the purple and black, like we right. uh, or, or or green and green and yellow. 
Anybody, bro. Anybody, bro. anybody but the Browns, bro. Anybody but green, green and gold. Bro. Anybody color, but color scheme blue. go yellow. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you guys up. I know, I know y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go and move on. Uh, the NFC North game of the week um, is going to be Detroit traveling to Minnesota. Minnesota awesome. currently undefeated. Detroit four and one, who just got done putting them paws on Dallas at the All stadium. Over. Now All they're over. traveling to Minneapolis. Mm-hmm. Who do you guys got? Uh, Minnesota, excuse me. I said Minneapolis. Minnesota, who do you guys got winning? Uh, G, let's go with you, brother. Minnesota and Detroit. Oh, they just lost a, a key piece to that. Hutchinson. Oh, that's nasty, bro. That's nasty mm-hmm. work. Ah. I still got to go with, with Detroit, yo. Like, I still, yeah. at least the first week, I got to go with Detroit. Only because I want to see what the what the next person is is going to step up and do, and if Sam Donald is really who we say he is, right? Like, yeah, now nah, he already starting to turn back into the pumpkin. Huh? He's already starting to turn back into a pumpkin. Yeah, we, yeah. we made him look not we, but who who he played last? Like not the last two games, he hasn't looked good. Um, Was the Jets? Jets? And yeah, the Jets. So, yeah, and you're all right. Right, yeah, and so, so I mean they beat us, but you know, what mm-hmm. what I look at is like I'm I'm looking at this is some games is like it's hard to really determine who, who's gonna be the outcome of the winner, but um this is one of those ones where I'm like, yo, Detroit is they can drop here, right? They can drop here and still succeed in the NFC. However, I, I don't think it's gonna happen, man. I think it's gonna be next man up, and um I see Detroit um going forward. First and foremost, that's my uh I got them coming out of the NFC in the finals, first and foremost, to the Super Bowl. So I, oh, the I Lions. Said, yeah, I said that three times. I don't the Lions are not a bad pick, man. They look like the team to no, beat. It's not. It's, it's not, not a bad pick. It's they a harder pick with Hudson year, gone, but it was a, yeah. He he done for the year, but you know Oh yeah, he's gone. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Bruce, who you got, brother? Um, I got Detroit in this one, man. Uh uh-huh. They look so good right now. They look like they're clicking on all cylinders. Then again, the Cowboys can make you look that way, right? But no, nah, I think this is a really outstanding football team. However, um, Brian Flores, his, his defense is going to be uh, ready to play and try to control that high-octane um, attack of the Lions. But I still think the Lions are the best team in that division and uh, either the first or second best team in the conference. So I'm, I'm going with Detroit here. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna go with Detroit too. I think they're um, they're hype. You know, they're hype. You know, the way they just stomp Dallas. Like I said, the biggest show to, to stomp on anybody in the NFL is in mm-hmm. Jerry's world, and that's what you guys just did. Um, unfortunately, you guys lost Aiden Hutchinson. Yeah, but that's, that's that that lights a fire under under your team right there because now you got to rally. I think these yeah. guys are definitely yeah. gonna rally. Uh, Minnesota coming off of a bye week. So, you know, a little bit of rust may show. This may be where Sam Donald turns back into a pumpkin. I think Detroit's mm-hmm. defense is decent enough to yeah. still keep them in check. Um, yeah. But Detroit's offense is just absolutely phenomenal. From mm-hmm. offensive line, from a running back, from receivers, mm-hmm. your quarterback, you know, you're, you're, you're throwing laterals and hooking laterals to freaking linemen on your team. So, I mean, at that point, how mm-hmm. deep does your playbook go on your offensive side of the football? So, yeah, I got I got Detroit in, there, in this one. Not not to mention the play caller. I know I know you called out a few plays, but they yeah. they just doing a really good job on the offensive um play calling yeah. perspective. Yeah. Like Ben Johnson's good, man. Yeah, yeah. he's no, he's, he's, call, he's calling up one hell of a scheme. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's yeah. really extremely important. But um, next slide. Yep, next slide. All right, Philadelphia and Jalen Hurts travels to the NYC to battle the Giants in the last one o'clock game of the day. G. I started with you last time, Bruce. Let's go with you. Divisional matchups are always tough. Uh, Daniel Jones is actually playing a little better this yeah. season than um, than he was last year. Uh, this is another tough one. Something just isn't quite right with the Eagles. So Eagles, yeah. I'm going to go with an upset here, and I'm going to take the Giants. Ooh, um, last the week, Giants. Yeah, last week saw Saquon get shut down. Um, I think he had like 17 carries for like 40-something yards. Yeah. So it, it can be done, and um, the Giants have a they have a pretty pretty decent pass rush. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Giants here. Yeah. Okay. G. Hmm? You know I did that shit last week. 
and it didn't work out for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it did not work out for me. Listen, Daniel Jones shit the bed. I gotta go with the Eagles this week. I'm sorry, bro. Like easy uh, day. Yeah, yeah. He he. Oh my gosh, bro. But he was going against your guys, right? Who? Uh, Billy Daniel, Daniel Jones played against. Uh, he played against us. He played against um. Crap. Was yeah. it Atlanta? No, no, no. One second, one second. He played against a team that he, that I thought I was like, oh my That's god, they played the Bengals. Bengals. There you go. Jesus, yeah. I knew better when I picked that because you know <laughs> the Bengals is is like yeah. Yeah, you you want to believe Joe Burrow can't play anymore, but you know that's not the He's case. Good enough to win that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't saying it out loud yeah. though. Uh, uh, that's tough, bro. I need five seconds. Hold on, give me five seconds. Let me help you out. Let me see who Vegas got. Vegas has Philly plus three, minus three. Philly, it is. <laughs> <laughs> It's sometimes I'll give a little Vegas eyes, like, all right, man, I'll take Billy. I'm hey, listen, Billy man, running. some of this shit is it's, it's, it's too many flags being thrown in, in some of these games. Yeah, I think, I uh, got yeah, I got Philly too. I think Philly looked at last week, um, against the Cleveland Browns and was like, yo, we could have lost the game to possibly one of the worst teams in the NFL. We got to get better. You know, we came off of they came off of a bye week, uh, going into Cleveland and everything just looked stagnant, it looked like it was. Just nothing was clicking until like the second quarter uh, when Jalen Hurts finally started getting stuff picked up. Jalen Hurts got to start off quicker. This is it's been multiple games this season where he's starting off very very slow. Um, I, but unfortunately, that's that's not going to hurt him as much because the Giants obviously they don't start games out fast. So I think the Giants are going to keep it relatively close enough to where you know Philly gets into that second quarter and then they just get the rolling with AJ Brown and them boys out there at the receiving end and you know. Get to the third and fourth quarter, Saquon Barkley. You know, he's gonna show he pretty much shows up every single time. And plus, this is an actual comeback game for him. Uh, Saquon Barkley gets to return back to the New York Giants. And uh, since the trade that they no, it wasn't a trade, it was the uh, since the free agent signing of uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. So I got Philly on this one, man. Got Philly. All right, moving on to the four o'clock, 405. We have the Las Vegas and the Devontae Adams list. Raiders going against the Los, <laughs> the Los Angeles Rams. Who we got, G? Bruce. The G Man, Rams. that's a – they're both bad right now. I think the, the Rams only have one win on the year so far. Yeah. They're uh, they're bottom of the uh, NFC West, but I think they're just – I think they're better coached and they're a better team than uh, the Raiders, so I'm going to go with the Rams here. Okay. I like uh, your pick. Um, I believe Cooper Cup is trying to work his way back. He's mm-hmm. trending in the right direction. That's the lie. I know I saw something last uh, trending in the right direction. But I think yeah. Kyron and Siren, go Irish. I think that's good enough to beat the Rams. I mean, beat the Raiders. I mean, you know, Raiders, obviously, they don't have anything going for them right now. Um, you finally got rid of, you know, you know, the dark cloud that's over you when it comes to Devontae Adams. But, you know, the Rams in Los Angeles, I'm going to pick the Rams um, against a team like Vegas, man. G, who you got? Vegas versus the Rams. Rams. Easy day. Yeah. When when G ain't got nothing else to put on it, that means the other team is just that damn awful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. It's simple syrup, bro. Yeah. You know, no, one I part whiskey, one part simple syrup, bro. It don't take much. <laughs> you just you just you just gave away your best receiver. Yeah. Right? Like for next to nothing. Yeah. And all right. Oh. Go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Carry on. No, I was moving on to the next one. What'd you say? What'd you say? No, I was just thinking, like, you know, there is no home field advantage. Mm-mm. Right? When you, no. when you look at Vegas, there is no home field advantage. I'm not sure if they plan there, but. Mm, playing in Los Angeles. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. All right. We're going to move on over to another easy pick game. We got Carolina traveling to Washington and the rookie, Jaden Daniels. <laughs> Bruce, who we no G, he was uh, gone last time. G, who you got? Jaden Jane Daniels. Daniels got it. Easy day. All right. <laughs> Bruce, I'm gonna go ahead and click Washington for you because uh I don't think you got anything else to put on it. Yeah, he, I'm gonna go ahead and click Washington too he, because there's he's not that bright, around. but he's bright enough. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I mean, Carolina got nothing. I don't think we need to go into further more detail than why everybody's going to be picking Washington. Uh, in the chat, if you guys are watching, tune it in. Be sure to hit that like, that share, that comment, subscribe button. Um, give us your picks. You know, don't don't let us do this on our own here. All right, we want to hear what you guys got. Um, also, if you guys got an upset for the week, you know, let us know. Let us know, um, you know, what you guys think about uh, anybody being upset this week. All right. Uh, final four o'clock game, Kansas City Super Bowl rematch at San Fran. Bruce, who you got, brother? Ooh. Um, wow. There's a moment of the truth right here. I really, I really want to pick Kansas City here because I'm such a believer in Spagnolo and his big game defense. I really want to pick Kansas City, but. I'm gonna go with San Francisco because Ooh. Kansas City they can't they can't be at some point they gotta lose right at some point and they gotta San lose. San Francisco right. can physically match up with just about any team in the league. Um, it's just going to come down to is Kyle Shanahan gonna do something stupid with his play calling in the clutch? Is he gonna make another boneheaded mistake? But I'm gonna go with San Francisco, and uh, you know uh, this would be another opportunity for Brock Purdy to show people what he can do because you know there's a lot of people who think that he's a bum or something. So. You know, I want to make sure I, I, I just put that out there. But, yeah, I'm going to go with San Francisco here. And uh, okay. good, good day from Brock Purdy. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. G, what you got, brother? Oh, man, Brock Purdy with his three touchdowns and 255 yards. I got to go with him, bro. Like, I just feel like, you know, even though the Chiefs has the uh, the refs on their side. They got that 12th man. I'm going to call it the 12th man. I'm going to call it the 12th man on the field. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it there. However, you know, three touchdowns, no picks. And he had a pretty good um, go. All his guys are pretty much help, healthy except for the foot with the exception of um, uh, 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 CMC. Yeah. I I just really gotta go with the 49ers, bro. Like I'm not a Brock Purdy believer, but you don't say. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna say this over and over and over again. But you know, the face of the league is the face of the league, and that's why we here, right? Where are you getting? At, the, what does that face of the league? What does that have to do with anything? Patrick Mahomes is the face of the league for the NFL, bro. You didn't know but, that. But, but no, I'm asking like, what does that have to do with anything? Because you, you went from Brock Purdy and jumped to face it. So I'm just wondering like, Brock what? Purdy is definitely not the face of the league, right? There's there's a reason right. why. And if you ask anybody, it's like, yo, uh, Patrick Mahomes doesn't look good this year. He didn't. He hasn't looked good any games this year. However, they still have been able to win, right? Um, mm -hmm. I think Brock Purdy get it in the mud. He been getting it out the mud this year and. Um, I'm gonna go with Brock Purdy this year, bro. Like that. What, what are we saying here? I'm just trying to figure out where the whole face of the league. I'm sorry. Who, who do you pick? Who did you pick? I, I picked San Francisco. Pick San Francisco. Okay. Even though I, I really believe in Spags, well, we but probably, we will probably have two L's on this panel because I know my guy possible. right here. He's gonna go with you know what I'm Kansas saying? City. Yeah, Kansas City. That 12th man on the goddamn field. He means a lot out here, shorty. That's I don't, I don't thing. care anything about the twelfth man. But let me get to the reason why. Patrick Mahomes is three and zero off a of bye week. Yeah, undefeated. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, you give you give Patrick Mahomes time to clean Andy his Reed's weapons to figure out what's going on. Yeah, Andy Reid off of bye weeks is an amazing coach. Yes, that's a good point. But you gotta leave with Andy Reid, not Patrick Mahomes. I mean, do I need to mention Andy Reid? We know absolutely. what Andy Reid's about. Absolutely. Patrick Mahomes is also Andy Reed. You, that's like not not. That's like saying, all right, we got Belichick and not Brady. Like, Brady wouldn't be Brady if it wasn't for Belichick. And Correct. Patrick Mahomes wouldn't be Correct. without Andy Reid, bro. Like, You're 100% right, G. Absolutely. That's, that's all I'm saying. I, I, ain't, that, I ain't trying to take no – listen, we good here, bro. <laughs> well, if you let me finish, okay? You let, let me finish, me finish right? <laughs> I was going to mention Andy Reid. Uh, like I said, coming off of a bye week and his amazing scheme to be able to draw plays and uh, have, have the time to sit back, eat a couple of big hamburgers, and look at San Francisco the way they've been playing the last couple of weeks. They've been playing some real shaky-ish football uh, with them losing to the Cardinals the way they did and uh, 
having an, uh, a closer game than expected against the Seattle, even though that's a divisional game. Um, I think Kansas City goes in the San Fran knowing that these guys are coming to look to punch us in the mouth because of what we did to them in the Super Bowl. However, Andy Reid is probably going to be like, yo, look, if they beat us this week, that doesn't mean they they can get the Super Bowl. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, doesn't <laughs> we still going to be the champs. We're still the champs regardless. But, however, mm -hmm. let's sit back and dissect this team. Let's go punch them in the mouth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We've been getting talked about. Um, Patrick Mahomes has thrown an interception, I believe, in every single game he's played this season. That's correct. I believe he wants to clean that up. Um, and really tackle the San Fran defense off of a bye week. So I'm curious to see that. Um, Aaron and Andy Reid hasn't shown me no reason not to. Um, mm -hmm. Him being 3-0 and and Andy being the coach that he is, uh, you know, I got Kansas City with this one, brother. So, that yeah, I mean, that's going to be the only game to watch at 4 o'clock because the other two games aren't, aren't going to be worth it at all. Um, mm -hmm. So moving on over, that with Deshaun Jackson. I hope you are live and you are tuned in because we are now finally about to talk about your black and yellow Pittsburgh Steelers. Steve New York too. Jets travel with Devontae Adams. Oh, <laughs> feels so good to say that, you know what I mean? Devontae Adams travels to Pittsburgh at 8.20 on a Sunday night where the lights is bright. G, who you got? Man, that's a tough-ass joint. Tough. You know, with with, with all the kicking and goddamn screaming Aaron Rodgers has been doing this weekend, man. I don't know whether to get this dude a pacify or Devontae Adams receiver's glove, bro. Like, I hope this is enough for him to shut up and play football, right? That's universal. Um, however, I mean, you, you just can't count the opposition out. Like, uh, tough game, man. Um can, can you skip me and come back to me, bro? Because because Bruce gonna fix, he gonna say the same thing. Skip him and come back to him. <laughs> God damn it, this mother. Be uh, hey, me and Bruce was looking at this the other day. He was like, man, I, yeah, man how do you how do you, how do you yeah, give us a minute, this, to pick bro? This like, yeah. the only thing I can say is is like you know what I'm saying like because yo so he's still under his hamstring. If it was a real hamstring, it's, it's not a real hamstring. Yeah, it's, it, it definitely wasn't a real hamstring. Definitely injury, wasn't but, a real hamstring. No. Yeah, but but that just takes away from the sport at the same time, right? Like, um, when we look at this, it's like, yo, how do we – you're supposed to be out like six weeks with a hamstring. Hamstrings aren't like one of those things that you just bounce back from. Clearly, you did not want to play with these guys. However, you still like, like played them. So you know, they, they also wanted to keep him healthy for a trade, right? You don't trade. want him out there playing and actually get hurt, and then you lose trade value. So I see both sides. You gotta help me out on this, Bruce. Because I'm, I'm <laughs> you definitely gotta help me out on this. I'm a, I'm gonna uh, defer to you, bro, on this one. This is the first time this ever happened in your life, and I'm I'm depending on you. <laughs> <laughs> see, see how it is. I feel like I've been, I've been, I've been having like you know, like it's been me <laughs> or it's been you. But however, like oh man, this guy right here with the Navy veteran hat, the red hat on, he hasn't really been picking first show. Like it's just, it's been me. Or it's I've me. been hosting it. I'm, okay, man, I, you, I, I will. You, I, I host, host it. You know segment. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm when, going when with the Jets, go first. I, I, I gave this a lot of thought. I'm, I'm going with the Jets. Yeah, I think that um I think that the Jets defense it hasn't been as dominant as in years past, but uh they have an outstanding pass defense. They're still very, very good with that. You can't really throw it on them. Uh they have a good front four, even though they're not like getting a ton of sacks, but you know, they, they have a good front four. Uh Aaron Rodgers now is in a position where he's got two big time weapons on the outside to work with. And even if Devontae Adams doesn't go off, I think that means that, um, what's my man's name? Garrett Wilson goes off because I think just, and we talked about this um, Transformer, you and I, the the gravity that, um, <laughs> the gravity that, <laughs> Russ the simp, <laughs> no, the, <laughs> excuse me, the gravity that Devontae Adams causes defensively is really going to do a lot to free up um Garrett Wilson, and also if they really get Brees Hall involved in this thing, I think they have a very good chance of winning this football game. I'm going to go with the Jets, man. And also, if if uh, Pittsburgh 
really does start Russell Wilson, which it appears they're going to do. He's been getting the bulk of the first team reps. Then you also have that. You have a, a change at quarterback, which, you know, sometimes can take some time to get used to. So, yeah, for all of that, I'm going to go with the Jets in a close one because they both have really good defenses. Yeah, it's it's just – I mean, based off of what you said, we got we got Russ, who, who, which will be his first game starting for the mm-hmm. Steelers, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We have a, a New York Jets with, you know, their – Super offense now, right? Um, these guys haven't had reps together in what two years? Mm-hmm. Three, three years, three right? Years. That's the difference. Yep. Nigga. That's the difference. So, so there will be some errors there. Um, man, I gotta go with the AFC North, man. Like, I just have to do it, bro. Like, only because that defense is there, but it, it cancels out when you look at AFC. I mean, when you look at the um, the Jets. Um, defense, but I just think I just think uh, when it comes down to it, uh, this guy Russell Wilson, they call him a simp, but this guy's a, a much more poised quarterback. And don't if he starts, much more poised than who? Than Aaron Rodgers? Not now. I don't think Aaron Rodgers. Man, y'all tripping, bro. Let's like, y'all tripping. Bro. Y'all being disrespectful. Y'all. It's not the y'all same Aaron Rodgers, but Russell Wilson. We seen Grand Hill. We seen we seen Tamir jump out of the water and, and and what that did to Grand Hill, right? He ain't played a game in seven years after she came out of that water. All of us remember that. It, probably not probably not the Transformer. However, we understand what it means to have a queen on your side and how that, you know, it kind of changes the the trajectory of I'm not even gonna say what I was thinking. I'm not your workplace, <laughs> right? Like what you do at work, but I just I don't know, bro. Like I, I just I think I think when they come down to it, Russ, Russ will be a better player. This ain't got shit to do with nothing, but I can't I can't get with the drama that uh Aaron Rodgers he's gonna bring it to the Jets, bro. Like and all that all that's too cool much drama. All that's cool, but we haven't seen anything that would make you believe Russ is gonna be precisely a better player. we, have, we precisely. haven't seen any listen, we haven't seen anything but full quarter picks. Out of Aaron Rodgers. That's cool. That's it. Just in the clutch in the clutch picks. So you got Pittsburgh. I got Pittsburgh, bro. And you know what? The the best part of me is like, yo, we could never do this shit. But I I mean, you guys brought me to this panel and I I just gotta be real. I just think (laughs) (laughs) I just think even with Devontae Adams, he's still gonna throw a pick in the fourth quarter. All right, well, we'll see, right? Sierra is definitely a queen, however. She is. All right. I think that's simple enough. I mean, I got Jets. Uh, You know, pretty much everything that Bruce said, uh, Aaron Rodgers finally gets his guy. Devontae Adams, to me, still the best receiver in the NFL. Um, I'm not talking about from a number standpoint. I'm talking about, you know, from just skill, um, sure ability to make every single throw, uh, line up at any single spot on the field. Um, Mm -hmm. And yes, he can. I, I'll let you talk. So I'm going to go ahead and talk. But he can line up in any spot of the field, whether it's a slot, whether it's the X, the Y. You know, he can he can literally run every single route. But you know, you get him to a guy, you know, who who he's had chemistry with for six years. Like I said, the numbers that those guys put together, amazing. Um, I don't see any rust coming from this. Uh, maybe in the first quarter, but I think by by the time the second quarter is hit, they're going to be clicking on all cylinders. Um, as quick as. Devontae Adams traveled there the moment this trade was announced. He was already in the building. So I think that goes to show you already that the, them boys are already trying mm-hmm. to lock it in. I um, think he's going to be like riding a bike for those two. Pause. Yeah, I really you know do. what I mean? Because, like, you know, it's it's, it's kind of difficult to forget the primes of your year, right? The, the primes of your life, right? The primes of your career to where, like, you, you and this guy were locked in. He knows where you want to go. He knows hand signals. He knows head signals. Like I right. said, those things, those things, Devontae already knows. That's and he's right. teaching Garrett Wilson that now. Like, hey, if you see Aaron look like this, then that means go this way. All right, run this route. You know, be this press, right. be this quick, come back to the ball. Like, this is what he means when he wants you to come back to the ball. But um, yeah, I got the Jets, man. I don't I haven't seen anything from Russell Wilson to even, you know, pick the uh pick the Steelers. Um, I'm curious to see, you know, what he can do against the New York Jets because you know, these are two defenses going at each other, but mm-hmm. I think Aaron Rodgers is the better quarterback and has the better weapons. Against I was about to say he's got more weapons. That's yeah. yeah. 
he has he has better mm-hmm. weapons. So yeah, I got the Jets. Can I talk? I can Jets. I talk? Aaron Rodgers coming off uh, Achilles tendon injury, and so is so Russ he, coming he, off of a calf injury, which that's generally true. leads to Achilles. Bro, that's yeah. two different things, bro. Nah, it is, but it's the same type of injury. Rest. You got the rest. However, I think the the Steelers. Their schedule is a little harder than the Jets, right? They got to go through that gauntlet. And there's a reason why they rested him the the first seven or six games. Um, I'm curious to see how they play. There's a lot of – they don't have a a number one coach there first and foremost. Um, Even their offensive coordinator, I think they they push him on the back back burner. So that's that's an issue there. But they saying that, you know, Aaron Rodgers is going to be – the guy that calls the plays at the line of scrimmage, which is cool. Two-time MVP. I can see that happening. Uh, I just – I'll have, like, just that time in it. Won't be there first game, bro. And that's why I go – I'm going with the Sailors. I don't think that timing is going to be there day one. I just don't think it will be. Um, he's been throwing to a lot of different receivers. And in the past, we've seen that that changes everything. That changes a lot of stuff if you're not getting those reps. Now, if these guys was getting reps on the on the side behind, you know, closed doors, then I can understand that. But you know, when you look at the Raiders and and New York, that's 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 quite a, a difference in time. Just to you know, shoot up and throw some passes around. But we'll see. But we're um, saying that because Russ hasn't had these reps either. So I'm I'm confused on what you're talking about. Same Russ camp had these reps. Same camp with his receivers. We're not. But you're not in a game. Russ has yet to play in a game. We talking about two that we don't know that. We don't know what listen, it's a reason why you you beat a team, what is it, by 15 points. And then instead of going with Justin Fields, you decide to go with Russell Westbrook. Yeah, to see what he can bring. That doesn't mean he's good. That doesn't mean he's good already. Cuz like you feel what I'm saying? You still win it. And normally when this happens, you go with the team, you go with the quarterback that's winning. Like I was shocked. I was like, oh, all right, when I heard this news. I was like, ain't no way. I'm yeah, like, we ain't actually no had way. live when we were talking about the Devontae Adams one. We brought it to him, brought it to him live. When I broke the news. I'm going to stand down, bro. We, cool. We'll <laughs> recap this shit on Sunday. However, what I'm saying <laughs> is when it comes to the Steelers camp and, and that and, and that guy, uh, that coach that they got, man, he, he's a really good coach, man. Yeah. Like, I think he's a really good coach. And he no, knows no, he absolutely. Going, man. He saw something. And Russell Westbrook that he didn't see in fields, and that's why this guy's on the field because they should have probably beat the Raiders by thirty. But that's my two cents. <laughs> All right, All right we're gonna move on over. We're gonna move on over to the Monday night games. Uh, oh, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and save that one for a second. Uh, <laughs> we got to move over to the last Monday night game, the Los Angeles Chargers. Goes against Arizona, who just got their behinds beat in Green Bay. Who do we got, Jay? Man, Cardinals let me down last week. You know, of course I, they I, did. You picked the wrong. Yeah, game. they let me down. I thought I thought the guy was going to have a little bit more. Um, what What have you life. seen to make you think that he was going to have that type of game? Don't know. Don't know. So I, I, look at a couple things, things, man. I look at a couple things other than stats, right? I look at but look drive. at the play. Yeah, yeah, in the play, in the play, but the motivation at the same time, right? Uh, maybe the Packers was out of their lead. I'm mad, right? I'm giving you your flowers, bro. I'm giving your team your flowers, and and I've been doing that with the um the Commanders as well this week. Even though they played, they played a really good game. You know, I'm not deflecting from what you you know what you guys did to Arizona, but I ain't got a dog in the fight when it comes to Arizona. That was like a uh, hit. But when ah, I look at you, the you man, got it wrong. Yeah, when I got when I look at the commanders, I, I see a different team. I see a you know uh up and coming quarterback who will be in the same likes as the Jordan Loves and the CJ Strouds, right? Like and I can I really can't say uh what's the guy name from the Bears? I really can't say him yet. He, Taylor Williams. He hasn't shown me anything yet. Not not to say that Jaden Daniels had, but um I mean, Caleb Williams has been showing a lot in the last three weeks. Yeah, now. some of these passes, bro. Like it take tier one quarterbacks to make these passes. But I, I, I'm a, I'm a deflect now. I'm gonna go back to um what we talking about here, and I'm gonna say, hey, listen, man. When it comes down to uh 
Jet Steelers. I'm going with the Steelers. Uh, if we talking about the Cardinals and the Chargers, I gotta go with the Chargers because the Cardinals left me hanging last week, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, I got, I gotta, I gotta divert to you know the old Ravens teams. Okay. All right, Bruce. Chargers. Easy day. Chargers. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my bad, bro. My bad. I got, uh, listen, I got, man, I got, I got nothing to give like, there. Y'all make me feel like I'm talking too much tonight. All right. Nah, you good. You good. No, no, you yeah. got your you got your protocols because we're still trying to figure out why you picked Arizona over Green Bay. And then oh, got man, that was strictly this, just you know, this, this now, game. That was really because awesome. you picked the Washington <laughs> Commanders over the Ravens, bro. That was it. That was it. I did. Yes, sir. I had the Ravens winning, brother. Hmm? I had the Ravens winning that game. No, sir. We gotta go back and watch that tape, bro. I can go. I can go back and look at the pick'em. Yeah, I, I, I almost certainly, I almost, man, we gotta watch this guy, yo. We I got a ten percent pick Baltimore, bro. Hey, Bruce, we gotta watch this guy, yo. Like, we need some. But what you need to watch <laughs> me for? You don't even remember yeah, your yeah. picks. <laughs> he's, he's you don't even remember he's your picks. All the pick we need some quality yeah, QA. Picks. We need some QA here, bro. Cause oh, here you go. Ain't no motherfucking pick- way, bro. You remember? Like, I, okay, let me tell you why and how I know I picked Baltimore. Because remember, I said this is where Lamar Jackson shows he's still that guy, right? Like mm-hmm. J- Jaden Daniels is more that. is is like a, a like a Lamar Jackson part two coming up as far as comparison. Yeah. And I was like, Lamar is like he's going to go show him. Not yeah. yet, young fella. Not Kobe yet. Mike. Yeah, we yeah, had that not, talk. Still here, you know what I mean? So there, I, I, I had mm-hmm. Baltimore in that game. And you went ahead and disrespected the hell out of him. I thought we we had open beef. I apologize. (laughs) I thought we had open beef. I I apologize. Listen, man, I got to talk to you down, Transformer. I can't talk to you. I can't can't talk to Bruce. He throwing me off, bro. He throwing me off. One week, he he, he Ravens, and the next week, he the Bills, yo. I don't know how to. Really? Sir, you caught it straight, sir. You caught it straight. My, my That's apologies. Because okay. there ain't okay. no goddamn okay, way man. I would have even bro. picked that unless. Yep, I definitely had both of them, bro. <laughs> all good, man. All good. Uh, we all got the charges, right? We all picked the charges? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I, I'm, I'm I don't not going to stress that I, out I anymore. really don't know why we picked the charges. These trash games, I think it's like three of them this week. Where oh it's God, really, man. really hard to pick oh who's going to win what, yo. Like, yeah, yeah. I just like uh, I, I got three games where I'm like, yo, I don't really know who to who to decide on, and this is one of them. Not um, tuning in at all. Yeah, all right. that's one of well, them. Well, let's let's finally get to the one the the one team that is on G's shirt right now. The Baltimore Ravens travel to Florida, down here in the side, out here in Florida. The battle of Tampa Bay and the Bucks at 8 15 p.m. on a Monday night. G, I know you know, no, you know what? Gee, you no, let no, me go for it, bro. You no, 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 no. Bruce, me... knock it out. <laughs> Bruce, get your pick out the way. I'm going to get my pick out the way. And after that, G, you could then have the floor. Go ahead, Bruce. I, I really don't know, man. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. I really don't know because I'm looking at it. Baltimore's got the number one uh, offense in the country. Sid Bubba, what up, bro? Good to see you. Baltimore in the See country. In the country, I'm thinking college football, but they have the number one offense in the NFL. Uh, Tampa Bay has the number one, uh, number nine offense total offense in the oh, NFL. Oh, yeah. uh, Baltimore is averaging 90, 29 and a half points per game. Uh, okay. Tampa Bay is uh, averaging twenty nine point seven. What's giving me cause to pause? Obviously, we know that um, the Ravens are a wrecking shop on the ground, averaging two hundred five rushing yards per game. And the number one rushing defense in uh, in football, um, but what's giving me cause to pause is that defense. the the Ravens back end their defensive yep. secondary, and yes. we know that Baker and uh, Tampa Bay can throw it all over the place. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and those guys. Um, so this is this is really really tough to pick. Baltimore is really good, running the football extremely well, stopping the run. But you know what? I think I think I'm going to go Baltimore here, and the reason why is because 
the the Bucks aren't going to be able to get their running game going. They, mm-hmm. They're not going to be able to crank it up on the ground. And that's really going to make it hard on Baker. He may have to throw this thing like 50 times in there. If he's got to throw it a lot, they're going to come get him. I mean, he he's good. But, you know, if they if they can really tee off and come get him because they can't run it, he's going to have big, big problems. And um, so I think I'm going to take Baltimore close, man. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. They uh, Tampa Bay has the weaponry and um, – uh, they're they're able to keep it close. They can score the football. We saw them put up what fifty one last week, and so we we yep. know that once they get going, man, they they can be tough. So I'm gonna go the Ravens in a tight one. Pause. I like it. I like it. Um, I got I got the Ravens. Mm-hmm. Right now, it's still thunder and lightning outside. It is. <laughs> it's still thunder and lightning outside. This is it's game. To deal with. This is game five, and mm-hmm. it's, it's it's hard to deal with that rain. It's hard That's to right. deal with that thunder. You That's can't right. go outside and you know, you know, cut your grass because it's you still cannot. wet out there, Facts. right? It's still wet out there. So I think you know, right. I think the Ravens keep it going um, against the Bucks. I do. I, th- I think I agree with you in this one that it's going to be a close game. Um, it depends on you know what Baker that we get out there to whether this can be a shootout. But I think that run game is going to do just enough to keep Baker on that sideline to the point where he can't come out there and get the ability to you know go for 30 points or 40 points or whatever the case may be um so i, I do got the bank um the Bengals, the uh the ravens in this ball game so g your last for a purpose ah, i'm last for well, purpose god damn it hey so it's a I, game um, yeah nice i'm gonna read uh so i didn't know that you knew president Obama. what happened Anyway, next slide. Uh, so when I look at uh, the the whole Tampa Bay and the Ravens, right, and I, I go back and I look at why Baker Mayfield was so enthusiastic about, like, producing on the field, he had to go challenge him last week, right? They had some issues last week. I don't know if you guys was watching them. But Tom Brady. Yeah, no. Tom Brady, he talked to him. And you know that was type the type of things that 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 make this pick a little harder than what it should be. However, when I look at what the the keys of success for us, there's no way that you know Tampa Bay can bring that. First of all, they just got hit by a hurricane, um, <laughs> and so they displaced right. They 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 sleeping on cots, like a lot of their guys ain't doing too well down there. Take a step back, and I'm gonna talk about Dirk Henry and how he controlled the clock in the fourth quarter, and that's okay. hard. That's extremely hard. You know, after you done played those three quarters, your heart out because you know you in a dog fight, and then they get this motherfucking ball to a bull, and he's bowling everybody. And you got Patch, you know, you got Pancake Pat back there. And he, you know, he doing his thing. He getting the pancakes. And then I look at uh, Lamar Jackson and, you know, that, that second half, he's like, he's not the same guy when it comes to, you know, the first quarter. Like the first two quarters, he comes out, he yeah, he don't miss, bro. Like this guy's on it. You know what I mean? He, he is out to win that third MVP. And it don't matter what type of pep talk that indirectly Tom Brady can have with Baker Mayfield, he's been taking his lunch. <laughs> Since he's been in the field, that's why he's not with the Browns no more because he couldn't yeah. deal with this dude in the AFC North. And so I just look at this and I say, all right, this is this is an easy win for us. This is an easy win. Um, Baker Mayfield is going to be able to throw the ball absolutely, but when it comes to control of the clock, I think that's where my Ravens thrive, and we come away come away with a ten point win. We come away ten point win. Ten point win. And so okay, if you was on a think about right. this shit, I'm going to let you guys know, like, Mark Andrews back, shorty. Like, he not on the bench no more. He not hurt no more. Shorty is driving. And, he listen, he hungry because we had week seven, and he don't have the five touchdowns he used to have. So, listen, stay tuned, man. Watch the game. You're going to see what I'm talking about. You're going to be like, yo, this guy, G, is – he's something else, bro. Like, he's something else. And if I'm not, then – Steve won't let me know. He in the chats. He in the chat. Steve won't let me know. He's like, gee, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And my steal is definitely one. You did pick that. But you you had no, no idea how Baker Mayfield was going to come out and play 
at the Tom Brady chastised him on that motherfucking sideline because he definitely read him his rights, bro. Like, no question. He was like, I already want to chip with them. You ain't been there yet. That's my two cents. But I got uh I got the Ravens plus ten. Plus ten. I like it. Ravens. You gotta love 10. it, bro. Like you gotta love it, bro. We got listen, man. We, we got locked in. We got big see. dummy over see, there, bro. Justin Tucker. Uh 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 listen. Look at Look at my guy over there, yo. He a Ravens there fan. You see how you looking? I ain't never seen another Ravens fan like that at all, yo. They said we wasn't going to beat the Commanders, yo, because this dude was putting up crazy I didn't numbers. say that. Sir, they said, said that. I'm not talking about you. They said we wasn't going to put up numbers because of what the Commanders was doing. Like, they had this rookie, this superstar rookie, right? And listen, ain't nothing like until you don't know what a Ferrari looked like until a Ferrari pull up. And the only reason why this guy's not in the AFC North is because that Ferrari pulled up. That's it. That's all I got to say. That's it. Easy day. I That's like it. it. No. That's it, shorty. That's it. <laughs> Man, I don't know what to say, bro. Until somebody proved me wrong, yo, I'm going Ravens all day. Yeah, that. like I said, they're, they're riding a the four-game win streak, so I think they're going to keep the rain and the snow. I mean, the rain and the thunder going. The thunder and the lightning. Jesus Christ, I can't even. Well, what are we going? going? Week seven? I already told you all my predictions. Week eight is, you know, they different. They different. Somebody, <laughs> told, me, somebody told me I was crazy. They said I was yeah. crazy for, you know, how, wait, that's halfway into the season, but the teams we thought that was going to win, win out one through eight, they not, they a lot of them not even there no more. So... They not. Um, that's my that's my two cents, bro. And I stand on my business. Easy day. Easy day. We call that a layup. Who's too. that me? Oh, that's one of y'all. Okay. Is that me? Yo, this the this like the best part of the show, yo. The week the week pick them, yo. You do a there really great job transforming, bro. I gotta tell you, yo, you you do a really <laughs> good job, yo. Because this guy, it, the bro. Road, you got to the left of us, yo. He be on solid mode, yo. Like he be acting like he don't, <laughs> like he's second guessing his picks, yo. Like you know what I mean? Like he was tiptoeing about the Ravens. I'm like, what? You serious? I said, Shorty been chopping his off for the last three years, yo. The last <laughs> three years, you can go back and look at it, yo. You can go back and look at it through the season. Now the playoffs, that's a different deal. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, this has been a layup for Shorty every every year, man. And I don't think it's going to change because he's a two-way quarterback. And a lot of these guys are just making the fault. But All right. Well, there you go. Shorty. There you have it. Week seven is complete. Um, Let's see if Bruce can go undefeated on another Sunday. Um, definitely yeah, not because he uh, he already has week. one pick that's not going to work out, and that's the Green Bay Houston pick. But mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. let's see what uh, we're going to uh, have next week, guys. Be good. Should be good. 